This is the Minimum RC BA He Hawk. Shall I start again? That was a bit of a tongue twister. Ah. This is the Minimum RC BAE Hawk, British Aerospace Hawk in Red Arrow scheme. Um, this uh, Trev, who's on camera, Flying Fin RC, built this for me. It arrives as a flat kit, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's what, it's two mil Depron? Yeah, yeah, very, uh, very small box, um, but easy to assemble. It's got a little ply frame in front of it. Yeah. Um, you can see underneath that you've got the, right, well, the brace for the wings. Yeah. Um, but most of it is two millimeter Depron and it's all uh, pre-printed with the scheme on it. So it looks fantastic after you've finished it. The electronics you order separately um, and that's on a single PCB, combined receiver and servos, isn't it, Trev? All, this, no, all the, the servos, servos are, are separately? Yeah, servos are separate, um, but the receiver and speed controller are one. And it's got a tiny little EDF in there, isn't it? 30 millimeter. Yeah, a tiny little thing. But it's Running got... off a, uh, a single cell, two single, uh, is it a single cell, 3.7 volt, 20 C, 260 milliamp hour pack. It does actually uh, sort of blow out quite a lot of um, air out the back, doesn't it? It does, it's got quite a bit surprisingly, of quite, quite a bit of thrust. But um, you, you said you could build one of these in an evening, yeah? Yeah, I think. Yeah, three to four hours. That's a, a good time, I'd say. Yeah, and they do minimum RC do a, a wide range of uh, warbirds and commercial kind of aeroplanes, and have just started doing jets. We've also got an F eighty six Saber, which you, uh, which Sarah, your lovely wife, finished. Oh, didn't she? no, she's building the Mig. Oh, she was building the Mig. Yeah, Mig seventeen. Yeah, she needs a bit of a, a kick up the the. I think she's been very patient. Yeah. And she took on the challenge, you know, That's and uh, and she's and she's built it. So thank you to her, and uh, we will see that flying soon. Yeah. But we're doing the red arrows first. So uh, you can order the the uh, the receiver with uh, several different protocols, but we're using FR Sky D16, I think. So let me just oh, plug in plug in the battery and let's get it in the air. Okay, battery all plugged in. There's a little magnetic hatch underneath that you put it in and uh, there we go let's let's see how it flies fortunately we've got a little bit of wind which does assist a, uh, a takeoff hand launch here we go oh that was easy yeah Kind of a bit of dihedral built into the wing, isn't it? Which makes it a bit more stable. It looks pretty good from here, considering how tiny it is. You're getting the hang of it now. Yeah.
<laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and it's down. Ran out of juice. <clears throat> well, I, I got better at flying it as time went on, really. But um, cast that quite remarkable, 30 millimeter EDF. It's not um, powerful enough to do aerobatics. So you wouldn't be able to pull a loop or do a roll, I don't think. But we'll cruise around like that. And I think it does get affected by the breeze. No uh, surprise about that. And it, it's, also, it's going between nothing and five to 10 miles an hour. But otherwise, flew pretty well. And a fun build by Trevor, not yeah. by me. I'm going to have to try building one of these, I think. Yeah, definitely. So the link for this is in the video description and the pinned comment if you'd like to uh, try building one. Otherwise, thanks to Trev for building this. Thanks, mate. You'll have to have a go. That's Got right. another battery. Yeah. And uh, thanks to Sarah for building the MiG. That's it. Going to have to try that in the near future and the F86 as well. But thanks for following Essential RC. Flying Thin RC are about to try this as well so they can have it on their, their page. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. There we go. Brilliant.